with another round of reviews. Pumpkin Spice. It might not be your cup of tea. It might be your cup of noodle. It's the limited edition cup noodles. Pumpkin Spice flavor. Ramen noodles. Go Pumpkin Spice. We have lattes. We have donuts. We have everything imaginable. Now even ramen. Everyone is furious over this flavor. Pretty sure they've made up their mind they're gonna hate this before they even try it. Noodles and pasta are very neutral. They take on the flavor of whatever it's added to. Sweet pasta is actually a thing. It's actually pretty good. But whether they went sweet or savory, the noodle is just gonna take on the flavor. Come on guys, we dip fries and soft serves. We do peanut butter and bacon. I'm pretty sure we can give pumpkin spice noodles a try. Let's check this out. I followed the directions and cooked it. It actually cooked up very well. It never boiled over. It definitely smells pumpkin spice. The juice is actually a little bit thicker, but so far it doesn't look horrible. Pumpkin spice ramen. I can't believe it. it definitely smelled nutmeg, cinnamon, all the pumpkin spices. Let's find out if they went sweet or they just went savory. Let's try it. Let's hold on just a second because it actually isn't that bad. They definitely went the sweet route. Honestly, it just tastes like everything pumpkin spice. Mild flavorings of pumpkin, but definitely more towards pumpkin spice. Guys, I think the people that really hate this either don't like pumpkin spice or decided before they tried it that they're gonna hate it. I did pumpkin spice year round. This isn't that bad. Like I said, I think people are hating it just because they decided before they tried it that they're gonna hate it. But here's something interesting. For the ultimate experience, try it with Cool Whip. I just happen to have some Cool Whip. I got a feeling it's gonna give it a major pumpkin pie flavor. So let's try it. Whip it good. I'll admit this doesn't look appealing. I got a feeling the added sweetness is gonna bring out even more spice. Let's try it. Guys, I'm telling you, it's making it taste like a pumpkin pie. It's not a flavor you're gonna have every day, but it, it's not horrible. There's one more thing I wanna try. Where it is a sweeter ramen, I wanna try it cooled down. You know, almost more dessert-like. Let's try it. I think I kind of prefer it warmer, but I got a feeling cooled down with the Cool Whip is gonna be great. Let's try it. We put down lattes, so why not put it on noodles? Whipped cream and pumpkin spice. Let's do it. Okay, the whipped cream on the cooled down version, so much better than the warm one. Much more dessert-like. So if you're having it warm, have it without the whipped cream. If you want to try cooled down, definitely try the whipped cream. I think this is the answer, and this is the way to have it. Cool down with whipped cream. So, what does Ron think of cup of noodles, pumpkin spice flavor? Guys, keep an open mind. And if you like pumpkin spice and sweeter things, I think you might enjoy it. It's not horrible. It's definitely not going to be for everyone. But it's not disgusting. Give it a chance. Give it a try. Very divisive. But Ron's giving this one 8 out of 10. Not something I'd have every day, but it's not bad. I was sent this by Rare Snacks Toronto. You dare me to try it. If you guys want to try this, drop over and check them out. I think they still have some. Another quick round of reviews and see you guys next time.